Right. Will you all please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Antoinette, can I get a roll call? Mr. Hook? Here. Mr. D'Andriano? Here. Mr. Wogan? Here. Ms. Smith? Here. Mr. Williams? Here. Can I get a motion on the reports, please? I'd like to make a motion to approve, uh, to accept code of compliance for September, code of compliance, uh, code enforcement for September, dog control officer for September, and ECI for September, October. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We did get the supervisor's reports late for July and August. I don't know if you want to, anybody want to make a motion on those reports or you want to table it to the next meeting. We'll make Pleasure. a motion on those reports. Uh, make a motion we approve supervisor's reports for July in the amount of $8,043,629.50. Right? Charlie? And the August report in the amount of seven million one hundred and seventy-eight thousand six hundred and eighty-four dollars and eighty-four cents. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Somebody like to make a motion on the minutes. Make a motion. We approve the <coughs> town board meeting minutes from the <coughs> budget work sessions of September eighteenth and September. No, that's the wrong date. Is oh, that yeah. just They're, they should be the 18th. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, the meeting minutes from the work sessions of September 18th and 20th, 2018. And no, no, the, no, excuse me. Yep, go ahead. These are from 2017. That's, these are last year's minutes. Oh, they, they the really are? Session. Yes. Okay. Why would we? All right. I'm sorry. Why I were they say, not approved? I don't have an no, answer. No, she's for only just finished them. No, no, no. It says 2017. Yes. Yes. Do it as we written. never we never submitted them for approval. Why? We because they weren't ready. Just do them as just okay. do them as. All right. They are. Sorry, I apologize for the confusion. Uh, yeah, me too. Um, okay, we talk about that later, maybe an executive. Um, okay, so I apologize. Town board meeting work sessions from Mary. I don't. You weren't even part of those. I don't think so. Right. Was September so. 18th and 20th. And September 25th of 2017. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any abstentions? Abstention. Somebody wasn't here. You abstained. Barry. Oh, I abstained. Okay. Uh, the motion on the public hearing minutes uh, on zoning for September 12th, 2018, and the town board meeting minutes of August 8th, August 22nd, September 12th, and September 26th, 2018. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Someone might go to the bills. I will make a motion. The town board approve abstract number 18, dated September 28th, 2018, in the amount of $312,532.71. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mary, you're up at back. I'm up at back. Um, first item on my agenda are recreation requests from Mr. Matt Chabarro. He's looking to purchase 16 zip up hoodies with the Patterson Rec logo on the left chest. The low bidder on this uh, non bid procurement request form was select sportswear. So I'd like to approve the purchase of the 16 zip up hoodies in the amount not to exceed more than $344 from select sportswear. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Matt would also like to purchase uh, the September 27th meeting. We approved the purchase of 35 Fall Festival t-shirts. Matt would need another 10 shirts, so I'd like to approve an additional 10 shirts. For also from Select Sportswear, who was the winning bid on that item as well, and an amount not to exceed more than $90. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, um, I think at the last board meeting, we tabled the purchase of the recreation software. We brought it back. I guess we have all our 
questions answered on this. So the web-based software for the Patterson Rec Center would be have unlimited training and support, program management, online registration, portal and website, the facility scheduling, reservations, memberships with card scanning, financial reporting, team management, email marketing, after school camp programming, point of sale inventory, and uh, hosting fee. That amount would be annual fee of $3,995. Um, this would start taking effect January of 2019. So I believe we're ready to move forward on this. It looks like it would be a positive improvement on the rec center. So I'd like to approve the purchase of MyRec.com, the recreation software, for an annual fee of $3,995. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Can we ask Matt for, uh, once this software is in place, to give us maybe uh, every three months, at least for the first year, an update as to how they're using the software? Because we've seen where software packages have been approved and then sometimes they're hard to actually implement. If we're going to spend the money, let's see if we can get just some feedback mm -hmm. on him as to how it is improving the you know, functioning of his office. Well, I think that I can um, have a good input on that as well, since I probably would be using it, since a lot of my family members are mm -hmm. attending a lot of the programs at the rec center, so we'll get some good great, feedback great on feedback. that. Thank you. Yeah. I understand that it's probably going to take us about three months to get it up and running. Understood. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. once everything's running smoothly, let's get some, <coughs> some feedback. Sure. Okay. Next item on my agenda is the Putnam County Energy Contract. The county had put out a bid for uh, electricity for facilities and streetlights. The, um, we're piggybacking off of the county contract and the bid was, the low bidder was Energy Cooperative of America at .06497. Per kilowatt hour for 24 months, and this would be beginning the month of November's 2018 meter reading. So, I'd like to approve the facilities bid contract for the Energy Cooperative of America in the amount of 0 0.06497 per kilowatt hour. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Dandriano. Okay, first item, I have budget transfers. So I'd like to make a motion uh, to approve uh, budget transfer request number 25 for uh, $2,500 from appropriated fund balance to water admin contractual. Uh, transfer request number 26 of $4,000 from water admin equipment and capital outlay to water admin contractual. And request number 27, um, $3,000 from sewage, sewage treatment utilities, $3,000 from sewage, sewage treatment um, disposal service contract to sewage treatment disposal sludge removal. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next item I have is a, a supplemental EMS contract. So we have worked with the Patterson Fire Department for a long time now. Um, hashing out the uh, contract for them to provide supplemental ambulance services. Um, so we finally worked out all the details and we have a contract here with them. Um, so I would like to uh, make a motion to approve the resolution uh, for the Patterson Fire Department to provide supplemental EMS service. Do I have to approve the supervisor to sign as well? It's all in the resolution. Okay. Like to uh, make a motion to approve the resolution as as read. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Next, I have uh, another resolution for the uh, justice justice <coughs> court grant. Um, I was going to try to paraphrase it, but it's very short, so I'm just going to read it. Whereas the Patterson Justice Court has identified the need for the purchase of certain equipment, improve efficiency and security at the Patterson Justice Court facility, and Whereas the town board of the town of Patterson wishes to submit a grant application under the New York State Justice Court Assistance Program for the purposes of providing this equipment for the Patterson Justice Court facility, copy of which is annexed here too and hereby made a part of hereof grant application. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Patterson hereby authorizes the submission of the grant application under the New York State 
uh, the New York Justice Court Assistance Program requesting a grant in the amount of $9,066.93 for the purchase of the equipment therein set forth. So be it further resolved that the Town of Supervisor is hereby authorized and directed to execute any and all agreements and other documents necessary to give effect to this resolution. Consistent with the terms hereof, all in form satisfactory to the supervisor and the town attorney. So they can make a motion to uh, uh, approve this uh, resolution. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That is all I have. Charles, you're up. Next, we have uh, a recommendation from uh, the planning board. Um, to accept bond calculations with regard to amended site plan application of Mr. How do you pronounce this? Bush? Muscalage? Muscalage. Muscalage on Route 22. And the uh, recommendation is to set um, a performance bond for completion of uh, the erosion and sediment control. Uh, site improvements in the amount of ten thousand dollars and the uh, associated inspection fees to cover the cost of site inspections in the amount of six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars uh, and these numbers were prepared by our um, consulting engineer so I'll make a motion at the and we have a resolution in front of us I'll make a motion at the town board approve this resolution as read and enter it into the record as read and everything else is read. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Next, we have a uh, resignation letter from Gregory Gagliardo. Um, after careful consideration, I'm sorry to inform you in the town of Patterson that I will no longer be an employee of the town of Patterson Ambulance. I, at this time, I am and I, unable to commit myself to any shifts due to my new position at a full-time job. I am very grateful to the, for the opportunity that you have given me and the patience you have had while I was in the fire academy. At this time, I hope you accept my resignation and hopefully if my schedule clears up in the future, I can reapply for this position. Thank you for your time. So I'll make a motion that the town board accepts Mr. Gagliardo's uh, letter of resignation of uh, September 24th, 2018, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next, I have one uh, one more moving up on the uh, the agenda. Um, this is Mr. Noble. My pro okay. That um, the planning board is recommending that the town board grant a variance from the open space development law to Mr. Noble for two lot subdivision uh, on, at the above reference location, which is on McManus Road South. Um, so I will make a motion to the town board of, um, request the town clerk to set a public hearing on this matter uh, for our next meeting, uh, October 24th, um, to uh, hear any comments relative to this uh, two-lot subdivision. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sit. Sean, you're up. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have a request through the planning board. Uh, they've been reviewing a site plan waiver application for Center uh, 5 Center or 19 Front Street, which is a commercial business at that location. This came up actually from uh, residents of our community that were noticing that there was an unsafe parking situation that occurred near the Mini Mart with people parking their cars and half of the cars being over the sidewalk and it created a hazard. Um, in conversations with our town supervisor and town planner, we um, took a, a look at the site and it uh, created a situation where the, the owner went and tried to request site plan waiver from the planning board. Uh, the planning board has reviewed it. They have asked for certain um, consideration for some signage at that site, which would make it a little bit safer for uh, the community. And so as of the September 6th meeting of the planning board, they recommended that the town board consider some no parking signs for the street area. Um, they 
we, we have spoken with our highway supervisor, Ross Goff, and uh, come to the conclusion that simply putting a sign that said no parking 30 feet from the corner, which corresponds to federal guidance and regulations, correct? Federal Highway Administration. So we would be consistent with those guidelines, so I'll make a motion that the town board approve the installation of signage in that area. Well, uh, it's that not so. <laughs> of course, it is. Let's just vote and it's done. <laughs> okay. So, I assume that, I mean, the town board's had a chance to review all this. I have. All right. And everybody is comfortable with moving forward on this. Yes. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to change um, our code. change our local law. Uh, do a local law. Yes. Change the code. Because right now our code says you can park anywhere on Center Street. Does our code allow for changes, though, that would come up on a case-by-case -case basis? We have people that say they want, oh, I guess in those cases we're asking other entities like DOT to change speed limits and to add signage. If it's correct? a state or county road, okay. yes, they were reaching out to a right. but this is a town road, so. Okay, so, so you want to so what craft something instead of public hearing? Yeah, so what you would like to do is, is ask the town planner to draft a local law. Is he in today? He is in today. All right. Well, that sounds great. Um, okay. So let's make a motion to um, have the town planner craft language in the code that would allow placement of the no parking signs 30 feet from a corner where necessary, rather than in all cases. We don't want to be putting signs up on every, because not all of them are. No, I want, to, I want to look into that a little bit. But okay. So moved. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. And as a point of reference, the planning board's review for the potential site plan waiver found that there were safety concerns with what the person was asking for. So they've denied the request, but they also found uh, additional safety issues with this site. So that's what we're addressing with that uh, possible change to our code. Uh, next item we have is a request um, that was made of our cleaning contractor who does a great job servicing the uh, not only this building, but our court space, and it was for some additional cleaning services which have not been done recently. Things like stripping the finish off the floor and, and re, refinishing the floors and uh, some, some additional work. So we have a couple of prices here. Uh, Town Hall, they were looking for refinishing and stripping the, and scrubbing floor tiles and things like that. That was an amount of uh, $2,990 with some additional burnishing. I'm not quite sure what burnishing, I'm assuming that's a touching up the Touching up the wax. Touching up the wax for certain areas to be done every other month at an amount of $150. And then the same thing for the courthouse, which was uh, slightly different amounts because it's less work. Uh, $995 for the floors over there with the deep scrub of the floors for 465 that's a lot of numbers and 125 for the burnishing every other month so um our this company does an outstanding job i kind of quite honestly wish we had them doing my office over at the county health department because we don't get as good a service there as what we get here in the town of patterson um, so i'll make a motion to approve the um additional cleaning to be done in these facilities per the um, quote dated October 1st, 2018 from Engineering Cleaning Services, who we are currently under contract with. So moved. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. They do an outstanding job. They were here just before we started the meeting and they- They were. They do a great job. And that is done. Thank you. So, first I have, first item on my agenda is a resolution to amend our uh, employee handbook. Dude, do we have two resolutions on this? It just no. is. All right, it does cover both. All right, we are amending our employee handbook. Um, earlier this year, Governor Cuomo signed into law changes to um, how we need to um, train for sexual harassment. They gave us a very, very short time period to get this up. It's been extended a little bit for the training, but we still need actually we needed to have all this done by today i think so we're very close to being uh on track um can we add the word prevention to the end of your statement the training for sexual harassment prevention, prevention. yeah thank you that would be a good thing thank sexual you. harassment prevention um so with all that being said 
I'd like to introduce this resolution and ask that it be read into the uh, entered into the minutes as though read to approve an amendment to both our employee handbook and our emergency medical services employee handbook um, section 903 of the handbook so moved second all in favor Aye. Aye. okay next on my agenda uh, being as it's the beginning of October let's talk Christmas so every year we um, throw the employees a Christmas party. That time is coming up. We're starting to plan for it. Um, Ms. Brown has identified Friday, September 21st. December. December, what I say? September. September, December 21st as uh, an available date down at the rec center. Um, is everybody okay with that date first? Sure. Sure. And then I'd like to uh, approve the amount of $1,200, which is the same amount we spent last year on the Christmas party. Um, I'd like to make that into a motion that we uh, authorize $1,200 for this year's Christmas party. So, second. Uh, all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Tongue tied up here, I don't know why. Are those opposed to supposed to say bah humbug? Yeah, bah humbug. All right. I think I would just mention too that uh, last year um, this uh, event came in on the budget. So that's right. It did. We try to be conservative. Yeah. All right. Next on my agenda is the so can I RSVP now? Because I'm going to yes, forget. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Would you like to do that now? We can do that later. All right, I'd like to make a motion that the town board authorize town hall and all other town departments to be closed at one o'clock on December 21st. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So next on my agenda is the fire department's final payment for the year. Um, we actually don't have to do that because we've already approved it through the voucher process. But that being said, um, I have presented everybody and the fire departments with the 2019 contract and our town attorney. Um, we need to have a public hearing on this relatively soon. So I would ask that everybody take a look at this and if you have any comments, get them back to me. And hopefully the fire departments will do the same. Okay? Yep. Okay. And that, and I've got executive session, which I will defer to the end of the meeting. Other business? Anybody have any other business? Going once. No. No? Do we have a date on the full f festival, family festival? We do have a date. I don't have it with me. It's the 27th? Yeah. It'll be on the website. It will be on the website. 27th. 27th? 27th. October? October 27th. Saturday. You don't want to do this? Oh, sure. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted to get to announcements. Uh, announcements. We have uh, Saturday, November 3rd, right here in Patterson at Brook Farm Veterinary Center. The health department is hosting um, one of their, they do three a year, free rabies clinics where you can bring your pets and get them vaccinated. Very important thing. Again, it's uh, November 3rd, 2 to 4 p.m., Brook Farm, right on Route 22 in Patterson. Um, here's the brochure. I'll see if can do his. Of course, the wind's hitting it. Need to Everybody, go up. Nobody breathe. Good. I can't see him. I held it in front of my face. Isn't that funny? So please take advantage of that opportunity. Very important to get your pets properly vaccinated. Great event. And thank you to Brook Farm for being a great partner in that event. Anyone else? Okay, I do have two additional things. Um, one is just to acknowledge we've received a feasibility study for a new EMS garage and facility um, at uh, 22 Light Bell Place. Everybody has that. It is available in my office if anybody would like to come take a look at it. Um, the second item that I would like to bring up before the board, uh, we've been talking for a while now about purchasing the castle in Putnam Lake and I've been actively working to try to get that all arranged. I um, have contacted the VFW. We have a couple of dates. Uh, we're trying to get this done relatively quickly, so the dates are, you know, soon. Um, 
October 30th and November 1st at 7 o'clock at night. Anybody have any thoughts, questions? I responded back to you that said October 30th is preferable to me, but it could be either one. Mary? The 30th is fine if that works. Fine. Pete? Good with me. Yep. Okay. I'd um, like to make a motion that we um, set a public information meeting at the VFW for October 30th at 7 o'clock. Second. I'd also like to make an announcement, uh, Veterans Day ceremony sponsored by the American Legion Argonne Post 71 will be held at the Electric Zone Field, Railroad Avenue, Village of Brewster on Sunday, November 11th, 2018. Paul. And that is it for me. Public recognition. Any member of the audience wish to address the board? You'd approach the mic and give your name. Jean-Yves Noblet, 94 McManus Rose. So just wanted to know that for the public hearing, do I need to send uh, a notice to my neighbors or is you, this you just- You do not. Thank you. Anyone else? Hello, Mike Ericole, 45 Homer Drive. Um, is it definitely at the VFW? Because the email I got today, you weren't sure if you can get that. If not, could we could get, have the firehouse available. On the 30th? No, I could, I, I could get the 30th or the 1st. Oh, so it's and definitely would, at the, the VFW? the email I sent out to you, but you know, now we're talking to Mike Ericole, okay. Park District. Park District, okay. Um, um, was just kind of to let you know that the only two dates that I, I really could get this scheduled were the 30th or the 1st. Okay. And you had a meeting scheduled for the 1st. So right. I wanted you to... Okay, so just so I could tell the board what's going on. So it's good. We're on the 30th, okay. so you can still have your meeting on the 1st. All right. And what is the annual fee for the EMS? And are they going to Patterson Firehouse do October, November, December this year? And is that... Are you talking about the contract? Yes, you said you signed a contract with them for EMS service for Second Colon District. Yeah, for the supplemental, it is for a it provides compensation for a six month period, and our contribution to that is no, that's their contribution. Oh, I'm sorry. Budget times two numbers. Yeah, it's going to be like 5,500. Yeah. Come on, it's right here. It's so about $1,000 a month? Yeah, about. Okay, just so I know. Thank you. It's driving me crazy that I can't find it. It's about page five, top of the page. Oh, five thousand six hundred thirty-eight dollars. Yep. Any anyone else? Don would have called that. Don't say that. <laughs> Motion to go into executive session. Somewhere. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all for coming.